SGC here, and today's movie review is Don John, directed by Joseph Gordon Levitt, his directorial debut. Good stuff. Also, starring Scarlett Johansson and Julianne Moore. There's a lot of other people that are cast in this movie, but these three are the biggest players here, so let's get it on with the plot. So, the plot is Levitt plays this dude called John Martello, and he's considered the Don among his friends because he has an active sex life and he meets any girl at his club and he is golden sort of pretty much but his character flaw is that he is not satisfied with sex with girls at clubs he actually has to look on to the interwebs for his porn and then he would rather prefer that over sex actually as the story progresses he meets scarlett johansson's character and he realizes that he can't use his normal way of flirting to get the girl so he actually has to change his ways and then things happen and along the way he meets Julianne Moore and then she addresses the issue of him preferring porn over sex. So that's pretty much it for the storyline. What did I like about this film? I would say the characterization here is very done well. Like Levitt really plays his character well. He's just confident and he's just like his explaining voice is just interesting. And Johansson brings in a foil for his character as he has been set one way the whole time and then now to chase after her he has to change his ways and figure things out on how to like have a long lasting relationship. And also Julianne Moore does the same thing but in a different sense where she addresses his I love porn more than sex. And it just plays well that, that that these two female characters are building and fleshing out more of Levitt's character. So I would say that was done well. Also, there, the shots in this film, I would I, I really find it interesting because there's a lot of repetition um, of shots of daily life, his weekly life of Levitt's character, where sometimes where he's going to the gym, there's a shot of him walking down the corridor and it's always that shot. And this scene happens over and over again. But when things changes in his life, say he hooks up with Tiger Johansson, they both come down the corridor and it was interesting. There's also other shots about going to church, going into the club, and you know, going on the interwebs. So I feel there's a social commentary that's done well in this film that addresses pornography and masturbation, which is, I don't think a lot of movies even do talk about. But it just addresses how Levitt's character, who is a Catholic, is doing all this stuff despite him going to church because I think when you're not a believer of faith you would have your stereotypical view of like oh they, this is what Catholics are supposed to be like they're very godly they do Hail Marys they go to the church they talk to the Pope or whatever and they're not supposed to touch all the sex stuff because it's like against the Bible what have you but it just addresses how you know people that go to church still have to have their stuff done take care of like I guess everybody else that just because you go to church doesn't mean you are exempt from having, you know, going to going to clubs, drinking, swearing, you know, dissing each other. Like, it, it's like, it addresses that Catholics or just people of faith aren't perfect beings. So I think that was interesting. And also, there was this one, there's this slight, like, detail that I really appreciated was how um, Levitt's, Levitt's character's sister, t like, Texas in service all the time throughout the entire movie and I find that that's hilarious because that's what actually happens at church in service sometimes I see it and it's just like wow cool stuff I saw it in the theater and I saw it in real life so what I didn't like about this film probably was the whole pornography like angle where it's pushed upon you so much times because I mean there could have been inferred that he went on the web I mean you show it a lot of scenes but sometimes there's just too much just just sex 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 but they don't show anything in terms of like how is he reacting it's just like snippets a montage of just you know watching porn and sometimes it's kind of overdone too much for, for my taste and also the character that ScarJo wasn't built up as attractive as I thought that she was gonna be she felt very up in the world princess princess syndrome and it was just like I don't get what you like about this girl she's not that attractive because I mean other there's other actresses out there that could play a hotter crazier chick I think so pretty much this is the, the movie. I mean, I enjoyed the whole like addressing that what guys go through because I mean masturbation and pornography is a thing that all guys or most guys goes through and girls goes through too. And it's just interesting to see how like the mentality of like Levitt's character and his friends where they're like, you watch porn and your girlfriend didn't like it, what the heck sort of thing. And I guess for this film, um, I think it, you would appreciate even, you there would be different levels of appreciation 
depending on how you view masturbation and pornography. Because, I mean, if you never like that stuff, like, do not want to talk about it, do not want to think about it, because you just don't want to, like, deal with it, watching this film is going to make you, like, cringe a lot and go, like, why am I here sort of thing. But if you're, like, a dude that just, like, have experienced it, and you really, you understand sort of thing. And I don't know why I'm talking about this stuff, but it's just, like, what else can you talk about with this film? Because it's about pornography and masturbation and relationships and addictions. And also... Yeah, so, I mean, if you go into this film watching it just for Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I don't know if you're going to be entirely impressed. You might be just like, that's too much of everything else but Joseph Gordon-Levitt. But he's, I don't know, he's cool here, I think. Anyway, so, that's pretty much it for this Don John movie review. Talked about more about stuff that I didn't think I would ever talk about ever in a movie review. But here we go, and I did. Anyway, that's all for this movie review of Don John. John.